Hello guys, welcome back to the channel. I'm Thunder and today we're going to be creating a health pickup system so that when we go ahead and jump and take damage, we can just walk up to a med kit and press E and there we go, we recovered. So let's go ahead and get started. Before we start, go over to the top left, edit, project settings, go over to the player section and scroll down to where it says active input handling and make sure that it's marked to both. On our scripts folder, the first thing that we're going to be doing is creating three new scripts. The first one will be called Interactor. The second script will be called Interactable. And the third script will be called Health Pickup. Go ahead and open up the three new scripts and also open up the player stats. The first script we'll be working with will be your player stats. Now this is going to be pretty simple, all we need is a function. So go over and after the take damage function, create a public void, which we're going to call add health. Then pass it a float and call it float added health. Over here, all we're going to do is health plus equals added health. On our interactable script, we'll begin by removing the first functions and we're going to create a header, which I'll call general. Then we'll create a serialized private bool which we'll call destroy and interact. If this is enabled, when we interact with your object, the object will actually get destroyed. Go ahead and create a public virtual void, call it interact, and we'll pass a game object called player. Then inside this function, what we're gonna do is, if destroy on interact, we'll do destroy, and we'll pass game object. Make sure you're typing it with a lowercase g. Over here in our health pickup, the first thing that we need to do over here on the top where it says mono behavior, type interactable because we want to inherit from the interactable script. Then we'll override the interact function. So go ahead and delete this and we'll first create a serialized private float, which I'm going to call health and it's going to be equal to 50 by default. Then I'll make a public override. And because we're inheriting from interactable, you should see the interact here. So go ahead. And now this is very important. The base that interact, what it's doing, it's executing the code over here. So we want this to be executed last every single time because otherwise our object will get destroyed. So we're going to execute it last. Over here, we're going to do player dot get component player stats dot add health health. Let's go over to our interactor script now. On our interactor script, the first thing that we want to do is go up here and we're going to say square brackets require component parentheses, type of, parentheses, and we're going to say player stats. Then go ahead and delete these functions and we'll go ahead and create a private player stats called stats. Then we'll create a private interactable called interactable. We'll create a serialized private key code, which we're going to call interact key. I'll set this to be equal to keycode.e by default. Then we need a serialized private game object which I'll call interact text. Now let's go ahead and create our update function and we will need one more function besides that, which is going to be a private void, which we're going to call interact. On our update function, the first thing we're going to be doing is setting the interaction text state. So we're going to do interact text dot set active parenthesis. And over here, we're going to say interactable is not equals null. This will make it so that it's only active when our interactable is actually assigned. Then down here, we're going to do if input dot get key down parentheses and we'll pass or interact key and stats dot is alive, then we'll interact. And before we go any further, go over here and create your start function and set these stats. We're going to do stats equals get components player stats. Now let's move over to our interact function. This one's going to be pretty simple. We'll first check if we have an interactable. So if interactable equals equals null, so we don't have it, then we'll return. Otherwise, we'll go ahead and interact with the object. So we're going to do interactable dot interact parenthesis and we'll pass our game object. Make sure you're typing it with a lowercase g. Then we need two more functions. So we're going to do on trigger enter and on trigger exit. On the on trigger enter function, the first thing we want to do is get if the other object is an interactable. So we want to do interactable. I'm going to call it found interactable equals other dot get component interactable. This is something to keep in mind. 
because we're inheriting our health pickup from interactable, even if it's the health pickup script, it will detect it as an interactable. This is why we're doing inheritance. Over here, we're going to do if found interactable is not equal to null, then we'll go ahead and set our interactable to be equal to found interactable. Go ahead and copy this code over to the untrigger exit function, and then we're going to do if found interactable equals equals interactable, then we're going to set interactable equals null. Back in Unity, go ahead and select your player and add the interactor script to it. Then we need to create a text for, for it. So I already have a canvas over here, but in case you don't, right click UI and go over to where it says canvas, and then that'll allow you to create a text. So inside this canvas, I'm just gonna right click UI, legacy, text, and I'm just gonna set this up real quick. Okay, so I got my text. All it says is interact E, and I just changed the color, made it bold and italic, and changed the font size. Now let's go over here to the player and where it says interact text, drag it in. Then the last thing that we need to do is set up the health pickup. For this, I'll be using the first aid kit army package, which is on the Unity Asset Store completely for free. I will leave the link down in the description. Here I have my first aid kit model, so I'm gonna select it. And I'm going to add a box collider to it. I will just set this up quickly. This first box collider will serve as the main collision for our object. Then we'll go ahead and add another box collider, which will be our actual trigger. So I'm just going to center it a little bit upwards and make sure to leave enough space for the player to collide with it. I will just make it like 1.2 by 1.2 and mark it as trigger. Then add the health pickup component which you can set to destroy and interact i will do it because i wanted to go ahead and break now if i go ahead and jump you can see i take damage i walk up to this it gives me the ability to interact and when i press e we recover so there we go we have a fully functional health pickup system i hope you guys found this tutorial helpful if you did please consider subscribing hit the like button and leave a comment down below it's always appreciated i'll see you guys in the next one